Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I will show you my crystals and gemstone collection. I hope you will enjoy watching it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel and if you're coming back, welcome back. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you again. So yeah, let's get started. This is where I currently keep all of my gemstones. In this pencil drawer, I'll show you more in a second. In these little boxes here, because they are still waiting to be organized. And also in this folder. I will show you how I organize my gemstones in there also in a second. But yeah, I think we will start from the top over here. I have three amethyst crystals like this. I purchased them a little while ago and they've been keeping me company <laughs> for several years now. I usually just keep them on my shelf as a decoration or like a paper holder, but I've also used them for photos of my jewelry. And I really love this Labradorite sphere, which I got for my birthday a few years ago from Jarek. I really love all of the colors in here. And I also keep it like in, in this little, oh, I don't even know how to call it, like a tiny little dish. <laughs> And I keep it in there so it prevents it from sliding off because it's actually quite heavy. It wouldn't be fun if it fell on the floor, which it did, by the way, several times. Okay, now let's have a look inside of this little drawer. So the first drawer is... I like to put my gemstones together by the color, actually. And here I have purples and pinks and yellow gemstones, as well as the clear ones. So let's start from the right. Here are some cherry quartz. I think this is a rhodochrosite. Then some rose quartz. And these are beautiful kunzites. And I really love them. Here are some citrines and clear quartz. Then over here are amethysts and this beautiful point and some lovely, lovely cabochons. This one is a very deep, beautiful color. And over here are ametrins, which is amethyst with citron. And they are really lovely. I really love how transparent or semi-transparent they are and how beautiful and shiny they are and honestly i have two massive ones this one and this one <laughs> and i've been keeping them for now but i'm tempted to turn them into like big statement pendants do you like big jewelry like this or do you prefer smaller pieces and over here we have some lovely little amethysts uh, like this and these ones. These are ametrins, beautiful amethyst leaves and also kitty heads. The next drawer is my second favorite and it's all of the green, deep green and blue gemstones. And as you can see from this side, I have a lot of malachite and very very beautiful ones. They are extremely vibrant and beautiful cabochons. Keeping them mostly for the earth and water collection but I'm planning to use more of them during the summer now because they are wonderful summery gemstones. This one is a beautiful azurite malachite or chrysocolla and over here well, I think you know what this is. This is Labradorite. And I think we all love Labradorites for the beautiful, flashy, spectacular colors. And each one is completely different. Well, that's true about most of the gemstones. You can never have two exactly same ones. So that's why I really love them. But these are even more special. And over here I've got some Sleeping Beauty turquoise which I purchased a while ago and I just I, I had to keep it for a while because honestly it's such a gorgeous gem 
and very very special color and I also have some Larry Mars there's a couple of soda lights beautiful deep color and honestly camera does not pick up their true form you just have to believe me that they are very very beautiful and deep deep color the third drawer is most of my tiny gemstones and also the gemstones that I picked that I was already starting to plant some pieces with them. And over here, here are my turquoise, here and here. Some opals and opal doublets. This is aquamarine and these are sapphires. And here are moonstones, which are gorgeous, but it's really hard to pick up their shine on the camera. They all have gorgeous blue shine, but yeah, it's really hard to pick it up on the camera. <laughs> and the fourth drawer is mostly uh, gemstones that I kept for like autumn and fall season. So over here I have some beautiful jaspers and petrified wood. These are honestly some of my favorite because they look like paintings and like landscapes. So they will be definitely a collection of landscape jewelry absolutely stunning and also these cabochons are excellent quality. I will uh, put the seller on the screen of these because he really deserves more recognition. Absolutely gorgeous, I'm always very happy with them. This one is, I honestly, one of the reasons I bought it is obviously because it's very beautiful, Landscape Jasper. But I'm going to show you the main reason why I bought it. Here we have some chrysophrase, beautiful minty green color. And behind it, I've got some Highland marble, Scottish Highland marble. Very beautiful as well. Then over here, I've got some points and these beautiful agate moons. And then here we have dendrite opal, or also called dendritic agate, I think. Yeah, so they are very beautiful. I love the formation. I love what's inside of these stones. They look like there's something happening inside. Each one is very special. This massive one, I've had it for so long now and I just couldn't let it go. I think it's just a collector gemstone, so I probably won't be <laughs> selling this. This one is very beautiful and these ones, I think they are perfect for winter because of obviously how they look like. <laughs> Over here I have some cute little bats that I will be using for Halloween collection, autumn and Halloween collection. Some black onyx. And this, I, for the life of me, cannot remember the name. They are very beautiful. They look like someone fused wood with gold. <laughs> they are wonderful and I'm going to use them for jewelry in the fall. Very hard to film them. In this little box, I have tiny, tiny gemstones, like four millimeters, five millimeters, and some little beads. And I just have to organize them. So far, it was just very good uh, to keep them in these little containers, but I am going to organize them in another way. So I'll show you what I figure out when I do. <laughs> then over here, I have some raw gemstones, little points like these and I had some plans to use these in the past but honestly I didn't get around to doing it so I'm keeping these for future I still want to use them and if not honestly I'm just very happy to keep them because they are very pretty and I personally love this type of gemstones so they are mostly clear quartz there's also some lovely amethysts over here and yeah, so these are those.
bottles. I also have some bits and bobs over here. Uh, these are very nice actually for pendants. I've been hoarding them for quite some time now. So maybe there will be time to let them go. And I also have some of these, which honestly, I thought I would be brave enough to turn into jewelry, but I still haven't done it. So <laughs> let me know if it's something you would uh, wear. I mean, this is heavy and with all of the silver that it would take to set it, I'm not sure anymore, honestly. And same with these ones. I truly thought I'm gonna turn it into a pendant, but I don't know, you guys. I'm not feeling that anymore. <laughs> So maybe I'll just keep it for future. Again, these are very lovely and they are great on photos and just having them, owning them is pretty nice. I have some more points over here. This is a lovely amethyst point, which probably will become a pendant at some point eventually. <laughs> In this little folder over here, I tried this tip from Metal Smith Society. I will put it on the screen <laughs> to show you who submitted the tip. It's a way to store your little gemstones and here are mine. I think I'm going to change it to this like different type of folder in which you can put this in and then put it vertically because in here I'm just not that confident that these are placed well. I feel like when I'm taking it out they're just falling out of here. But honestly that could also be fixed with just a little bit of washi tape on top of here. So honestly no problem. So this is where I have all of my tiny gemstones. Uh, this collection is a bit smaller right now because I've actually used quite a lot recently in the jewelry, which is good. <laughs> we want to see that. But yeah, here are some of my amethysts and here too. These are garnets and these are rubies. These are all beautiful pink tourmalines. Some more colorful tourmalines and also watermelon tourmalines. And here's pink chalcedony. I think it's chalcedony. <laughs> then over here I have some larimars. A teeny tiny collection of opals. I will be placing another order very soon because that's not enough for what I want to make. But yeah, this is what I have at the moment. These are Ethiopian opals. Here's a blue gold stone and black onyx. And that's it. These are all of my gemstones at the moment. I don't have a lot, but I think it's a decent collection on the other hand. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed looking at my crystals, my rocks, my minerals. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you to my patrons as always and I will see you in the next one. Bye!